I'm glad for you to be here. Right. We're gonna make something happen. <laughs> we got to. All right. What, what kind of a what kind of a funky deal we're gonna start with? You know, uh, C. Just a. This music is really for the chosen who, and by that I mean the chosen who got the ears to hear it. Because can't everybody hear this music yeah. and relate to it? They yeah. don't have that deep soul, you know, that 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 it touches. Here I am, this young white girl. I grew up playing classical music, and uh, and when I heard the blues, I just heard that sound, and it just did something. That's what I want to do. That's I want to play like that. I want to play that music. It's just the feeling it gives you. Just swells you up inside and there's just nothing, nothing that can take the place of that feeling. As a record company owner, I see so many record labels, blues record labels, making concessions. And, and I guess they have to do that to stay alive. I wanted to put out something that might be able to reach people that already had a preconceived idea of what blues is, or people that have no idea what blues is. Because that's really working as far as the variation. It's working perfect. But I, I guess, what do we got, two more spots at the end that we're missing? One more. Well, choose between y'all right there. The blues of Muddy Waters and the blues of Robert Johnson and the blues of people like Little Walter and Otis Spann. People just are not exposed to that kind of deep blues, and it doesn't touch them deep within. That's really my goal, to touch people with the true essence of the music, deep blues. You can make it if you try. You can make it if you try. I'm sure that makes for an exciting video. You gon' need until you die. Oh, yeah. You can make it if you try. You can make it if you try. If you're baby. Paul Fasulo, F A S U L O, means beans in Italian. If I was Mexican, my name would be Pablo Frijoles. I've been in this band for two years, one month, and 11 days. I always count. It's going great. Feeling good about 100% of everything I've done. So I'm having fun. Treat your own. Don't go around. Sang in the blues. Remember my. I know that. But... Just stop. Because I know you're setting up for the thing you're doing next. I know what you're doing. So that'll be cool. When I took him out on the first trip, when we made the first road trip, I was introduced to him as the best kept secret of the West Coast. Because people ask me, say, where did this cat came from? And then when they heard him sing, they really loved him even more. I do love R&B. 
and uh, doo-wop stuff and come to find out Rod and Honey like the same stuff. So that was another thing we clicked on. And although I dig hardcore blues, I love the harmonies. You can make it if you try. You can make it if you try. You can make it if you try. This cat right here has been playing with me a long time. Bill Stuvey? That is correct, sir. Oh, yeah. You've been through all the hills and valleys. That's right. Still doing it together. We've been around the world, you know. It's been a, quite an adventure, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like the material. I love the studio. The pace is pretty relaxing. Basically, just all everything's going real smooth. You can make it if you try. A lot of people said the blues is depressing, but they, I think the problem is they don't realize what the blues is. They don't take time to find out what it's about and the feeling of the blues, you know. Usually you're always hearing somebody, well, my woman left me, my woman, I don't know. go ahead, buy, you know, find something else. Paying the bills, enough money to pay the food, you know, whatever it takes, man. You, you don't have it, you got the blues, whether you know it or not. Looking for you, for me. Come back to me, baby. Try me, me one baby. more time. Come back to me, baby. Try me one more time. Come back. To me. Blues music, man. I mean, it, it, it ain't an easy road for anybody. Dude. It's a few of them made some money, mm -hmm. you know, but how many of them is just making it? And uh, if you in this really to make a lot of money, I mean, come on, man. You know, <laughs> you got into it because you loved it in here, and you can't help but do it. That's what it is. You can't help but do it. Come back to me, baby. Come back to me, baby. Yeah, I'm from Kansas City, and that's a blues town. People feel music from the heart, and blues is from the heart. And a lot of people, they think that they're better. You know, they look down on the blues. I think that they're really missing what they are about. James. Yes, sir. I've been hearing for so many years how bad you are. Well, I don't know about that. I've just been blessed. I've been at the right place at the right time. Tell me a little bit about what you've done in your career playing drums. And I was done from Albert King, B.B. King, to Barbara Streisand, to Paul McCartney, Marvin Gaye, I mean, Donna Ross. Uh, I have been truly blessed. You know, we're here to do our thing and let's get it on. Round home. I walk around in my bed. I decided that uh, the people needed to hear this music, so I just started my own label. And I decided rather than just make it a kind of a hobby to jump in with both feet. Having known Rod for 25 years and him being essential in my education into this music, I asked him if he'd be interested in recording for me. And he felt that as a team, he and I could create something that would be different and that people would really enjoy. Now if you don't feed me, baby, leave I go back in the ground, cause I'm that a walking ground hall. I walk around in my bed. My vision for this thing is to create an interest in this music sprouting from the idea that we loved it so much. Why can't other people love it if they could be exposed to it? I want some swinging music. I need that mighty fly sound. When I hear it, pretty baby, get about that hole down in the ground. Cause I'm that a walking ground hall. And so we put our heads together and came up with a concept and decided that we'd dig deeper into his roots to get more traditional with the music and try to create some of the music that he played back in Los Angeles and in Watts in the early and middle 60s. Oh. Randy 
Andy's input. He wanted to make it more of a down-home, rootsy album, so we reached a little bit deeper, and that's the way it came about on this CD. And I think it turned out great. It's all blues. You know, you can call it what you want, baby, but really, it's all blues. I said I need some petting, baby. Now you know what I mean. If you don't pet me, baby, believe I'll go down to New Orleans. It's kind of a mixed bag of, of stuff that you you heard growing up, you know, if you was into this music and, and you loved and you snatch and grab one here and one there. If I come out and see my shadow, my woman don't love me. I believe I'll go back in. <laughs> Back in the, the early 80s, we played on bills with bands that were hardcore punk bands. We came out in shark skin suits and hair greasy and everything, and they'd throw bottles at us and tell us we played like their grandma and everything else, but eventually they had to listen to us, you know, because they couldn't leave the room. You know, we were there and they had to listen. <laughs> exposing people that wouldn't normally be exposed to that music. And those young people at that time, they said, hey, this is different, it's hard edge, it's got something to it. One thing that I just, I'm just in love with the music thing, you know, and I uh, love the blues. I was raised on the blues, matter of fact. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have searched this town from door to door, love that I crave, I can't find no more. I'm sorry. You was a little late on giving me my kiddo. I that was my fault. <laughs> I'm not calling to be perfect. You might have said that's your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> that's on you. All right. All right. You just sing it like you'd like to sing it. Now I'll try to go back in and match you. Okay. Roll them. Roll them, baby.
so uh, when I started hooked up with George Smith, we was playing Smalls Paradise downtown, Fifth Third and Avalon. So George told me one day over at the house, say, uh, Rod, have you heard Brother John? I said, no. He said, he's coming down to the club tonight. So the whole night I got up there on the bandstand, I'm watching every guy come in the door, you know. Is that him? Who is, what's he look like? I'm waiting for him to come in, waiting so I can find out what he's all about, you know. That's how we met. Yeah. Then we teamed up that night and turned out to be good partners. Oh, yeah. Now I know this the last thing I ever do in my life. I'm going to find my big leg brown skin and make up my wife. made that mic myself. Uh, it's just a cheap crystal. That's where you get your sound. You're getting a sound from a crystal. But the body now, that'll give you a good thing to hold on to where you can kind of get a good tone because if you ain't got no tone, you might as well go home. <laughs> Most people's opinion when they hear the word blues is based on this kind of rock blues, uh, generic, watered down kind of blues that's available out there. And, and so it's, it's hard to touch them in their soul. has always been underground and right now it's underground as well as you know or if not more than it always has been but there's there's still people who love it and want to hear it it's something you cannot deny because it comes from so deep in a, in someone's emotions It doesn't matter what color you is, it's the feel. That's one thing about blues, man, it never dies. It goes way down, but it goes around and it all comes together. Wolfman Jack used to broadcast out of Tijuana, man. And we could get that station, man. And he played Jimmy Reed records and Alan Wolf. And there's no guys like that anymore. They need to have people like that come out of the woodwork, you know, and. and bring this music out to people so they can hear this music because the music ain't going away. Because there's people like Rod still playing it. There's, you know, there's people around the country playing it and it's not gonna go away. I feel that I'm gonna make a strong attempt at exposing 
the mainstream of people out there, the general public, to this music and see how many chords I can touch. Well, we played in Watts a lot, you know, them little corner bars that they didn't have really, it wasn't a... Smalls. Yeah, Smalls. I remember when we came out with that record, uh, Richard probably told you they had a, they had a, uh, we came out with the Bacon Fat record. That title was uh, Grease One For Me. So Small went down and bought some butcher paper, you know, about this wide and got a big roll of butcher paper and put out on the front of the club and got it paintbrush magic markers to put out there and they called George Smith little Walter you know he was Walter in LA so it said tonight little Walter and the bacon fats and then instead of the title of the record they instead of had a uh, grease one for me small got mixed up so he had little Walter and the bacon fats grease me once more <laughs> <laughs> maybe he didn't get mixed up at all <laughs> he might not have shit. and then they, after that he had over here they white but they out of sight <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're coming in for the second half of the first bridge? Uh, no, it's the whole bridge. Oh, the whole bridge. Do you want me to show you where it is? <laughs> uh, no, just play along and we'll get you in when the bridge starts. It's where Henry was just playing, right? Yeah, that's a bridge. No, it's not where Henry's playing, no. No, it's not. It's, you know, the beginning of the song, you can make it if you try. Okay, that's nothing to do with the bridge then. That's the chorus. Well, whatever you call, call it. What it. you want. Jeez, bridge oh. chorus. A rose is a rose by any Okay, baby. We'll get you in. I find the test being a of mine. We've been playing music for a long time, done a bunch of records. And we're going to keep on doing them. We're going to keep on doing them. That's right. We'll do anything to not have to get a job. <laughs> not a job. We don't want one. If anybody can get a job, it takes a real man to make it without one. There you go. <laughs> Nine to five, I can't get up that early in the morning. I can't either. <laughs> My pleasure, definitely. My pleasure. Thanks. My pleasure. That's a great shirt you got on too. Thank you, man. Right there.